Just a couple minutes into the interview, our photojournalist felt his wrist burning. Are you okay? Did you get scratched? If that is you, would you please shut that door? Oh. It appears to close on its own. You want to scare me so bad? Show me. Shut that door. This house has been the focus of an astonishing barrage of supernatural activity. Look at this picture of a girl in the woods. There has to be an explanation. What looks like a young girl. Whoa! I'm playing games. No, 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 that's right behind me. Dude. Dude. Dude, we're in trouble. Uh-oh. There was bales. Oh no. Zero service. All of us. All of us. <laughs> <laughs> We're Oh sh Not during sweeps week! Boys, this drive is a little sketchy. They couldn't have named it Kombucha. Kombucha! Hey! 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 Cabin, cabin to the woods. Oh my god, oh, dude. Bro. <laughs> That's it. This is it. Oh, Holy sh dude. So this is where the guy would literally sit, right here, on the porch. We're in the middle of nowhere. Here, can I, wait a second. Zero service, dude, look at this. SOS. Yeah. <laughs> Zero service see. at all. Why, Why does it have, have such big windows? Waiting for Perry. What you <laughs> is that? <laughs> Who the f is Perry? What if that was the dude's voice? Just oh God. Waiting for Perry. Definitely not the Bluetooth guy. <laughs> okay, on a real note though, we just drove four hours to get here. The cabin is insane. Um, Dude, yes! It comes with a shovel. Yes. Yeah, for what? I don't know, what but I've you, always wanted one. Why don't you just ask for Christmas? For your birthday. Birthday is coming up? Somebody get River a shovel. No, because someone's gonna send that. Dude, I just get like 20 shovels. <laughs> what the f what would I do with that? Like several hundred shovels. I'm just waiting for something to move in there. Off camera? We really don't need to even do this investigation. We just take a break and dip our toes in the sand somewhere instead of being all the way out here where there's bears. 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 I'm telling you. This reminds me of like a Friday the 13th movie. The group of friends just trapped in the cabin. Well, it's a good thing that there were four friends and not three. So oh, yeah. Yeah, so we're uber yeah, yeah. Now, they had like kind of a chance when they had more. I was gonna say, oh, we're good, you <laughs> superstition. And, no. and one of them was a crackhead, the other one was a pothead, and we are just normal. I'm both of those. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys, let's get some B-roll. First things first, it's time for everybody to learn some Tonight, we were invited to a cabin on the outskirts of Nevada City in the middle of nowhere. This is our story of a cabin in the woods. Down to ten and I'm a Would you please shut that door? Oh my god. Just a couple minutes into the interview, our photojournalist felt his wrist burning. Are you okay? Did you get scratched? Now we don't know too much information about this cabin, but what we do know is that it was built in the 60s and there was a man that lived there for many years. This man had kept to himself and the locals didn't really know much about him. Over the years, rumors would start to spread about who he was and what he was doing around there. Not everything about him was exactly true, but what they did have right was that he was a part of a satanic cult. It all started when people would pass by his house and constantly see him sitting on the porch. But one day they had noticed that something was different about him. It seemed like he looked like he was already dead and people had sworn up and down that his eyes were jet black. Now what these people didn't know is that he had already been dead inside of that cabin for months prior. They wouldn't learn this until some local kids had dared each other to go inside the cabin while they thought he was gone. The story says that people still question who they saw to this day sitting outside of that cabin those months 
announced that he was already gone. After the man's death, the locals had started to question more about him because reports of satanic rituals and missing children were starting to rise in that area. Now, it had been whispered that this man was actually possessed. Word had started to go around town about this man being sacrificed by his cult and they had offered up his body to a demon. It is said by locals that he and the demon are still in the cabin to this day. Show me what you like. I could be your type. See you every night. We could be tight. Meet me at the bar. Show me your guitar. This story was brought to our attention by the current property owner, and the place has changed a little bit, but from what he's told us, people have witnessed the spirit of a little girl outside of the cabin in the woods. Take a look at this picture of a girl in the woods. There has to be an explanation. What looks like a young girl. Most people that stay there don't make it through the night because they feel like there's something trying to hurt them. There are also reports of people hearing scratching on the walls, knocking, sounds like someone's trying to get inside the cabin when it's all locked up for the night, and even crystal clear voices while they're trying to sleep. So our goal here tonight is to find out if this all really happened and there is a demon inside of that cabin and to see if there are any children in the woods where the rituals had taken place. But before we do jump into this episode, if you guys are not subscribed, please make sure you hit that subscribe button because I know you guys keep finding yourselves coming back and you're not subscribed to us, guys. We're growing super fast. And one more thing, we have been working on this. Right now we have 50 limited edition patches that our mother personally made. So if you guys want one of those, the link is going to be down in the description. And also, they glow in the dark. Is it glowing? Are they glowing? Are they glowing yet? Are they glowing yet? Oh, oh, do you see it? Do you see it? Do you see it? All right, boys, this is the real test. We don't want to sell you guys some dirt, you know? <laughs> I did not see that. Sorry, Mom. <laughs> All right, turn off the light. Hurry! Whoa! The link will be down in the description. Also, guys, this is our latest and greatest drop of merch. We are in love. We have t-shirts, long sleeve shirts, crew necks, and hoodies. So if you guys want those, that will be on our Bonfire website, also down in the description as well. <laughs> yeah, dude. Give us the walk. Oh, damn. Whoa! 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 Yes? Yes? Yes, queen! Yes, queen! Hang on. Hang on. Yes! 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 Ooh! Oh my god. <laughs> oh, no. Get your merch, Gersh Gang. <laughs> go and get your merch, Ghost Gang. Ryan, Ryan, Ryan. Sorry, that was a part of the shot. <laughs> Let's jump into this insane episode. Okay guys, we are here in the middle of nowhere once again at the scariest cabin that we have ever been to. And boys, why do we always put ourselves in these super situations? Oh, he's broken. He's broken. You broke me. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully we die tonight. I don't know about that one. Where are you going? Hey, Mom. <laughs> Dude. Okay, here. This is my thought. My thoughts are, we're stuck in a cabin in the middle of nowhere. We have zero service. So I think, I think we all have to kiss. <laughs> It's the only thing we have to do. <laughs> Just thinking about that gets my saliva going. <laughs> I like where this is going. <laughs> Wyatt. Oh, uh, what, I gotta kiss both of you? Yeah. Oh, listen here, Ryan. I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> <laughs> Cha-ching. Ka-ching! <laughs> How are we so okay with being out in the middle of the woods? Because we're the three best friends that anybody can have. We're the three best friends that anybody can have. We're the three <laughs> best friends My baby. that anybody no. can have. No. With all those fun games being over with, this place is actually very intense. There are stories going all around by locals. We had gotten contacted by a couple of our viewers through email and comments about some of our viewers wanting us to come here to do an investigation. We have it for the night. With all that being said, boys, let's throw our hands together. One, two, three. Star, Star guys, guys, all guys, guys with, with fries, fries circumcised. Fries. That felt good. That was like a mantra. Let's go. There was a man who once had lived here a long time ago. It is said by the locals that you used to perform rituals with others in the backyard. What? Did you hear that? No. What the f***? 
Whoa, whoa. We just started. Did you get upset when I said rituals? Tell me that's not the door. Is that the door? It sounded like the door. It is also said that somehow there are children here as well. I don't know if that's true. We do know that the man here, we know that story is true. Now what we are trying to find out is what actually happened to you. Your body had not been found for months. Not many people. Dude, that is attached Wait. to the doorknob. That Wyatt. sounded like the door. You dude. You ready for my fantastic idea? Because I'm a genius. My plan, I have wire, I have a ramp pod. I'm gonna extend the antenna to the front door handles. No way. Yes. So I'm gonna stick the wire here, and then I'm gonna tie it around here. And if somebody puts their hand on the door handle, it should go off. If this does work, that is crazy. That seems like such a Home Alone styled booby <laughs> trap. <laughs> but let's try. Oh, no way! Yo. Wait, do it again. No way! Look at what how amazed he is right now. That's so badass. Wait, go outside yes. and see if it I'm works. I'm gonna try it right now. I'm gonna do it. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. <laughs> no way! It works. <laughs> Wait, actually? Now, let's get back to the investigation. Hello? My body is... Story says that for a month straight, people would see you on your front porch if you're out there, but they see something different than what you used to look like. You were once a man. That's out there. That sounds like something's on the porch. I might have to stick the camera out there. Just to prove that nobody's out there. They saw that you had black eyes. Does that mean one of the rituals that you guys had performed, it went wrong? and you had gotten possessed. So the evil entity, are you still here? Do you guys feel that? The story about this place is a lot different than what we usually deal with. We came here knowing that there is something evil here. People come to check it out, and a lot of people are too scared to come and stay here. The owner says that they don't even spend a lot of time here. Is somebody here? Can you touch the doorknob, please? Make yourself known. Did you just hear the door? Oh my god. I'm gonna back up. Let's try this, just completely back up and... The best part is, it's not windy at all. No. Like... We backed away. If somebody can please come into this house, that'd be amazing. Show us that you understand what we're saying, please. Whoa. Where the f was that? Was that back here? I was knocking. Oh, f Did you catch that? Oh, yeah. Dude, holy f Regardless, it doesn't matter. We have cameras all around. Wait, again, I just, this is how this works. Dude, that is freaky, bro. Yeah. That's insane. Is there any way you could come in here? The f door just opens. That's what I want. Dude, this dark energy apparently moved. They've opened doors, windows. There's all kinds of things that they do. And even people have heard what sounds like somebody screaming in the backyard. Oh. In the back is nothing but woods. Yeah. But they used to do rituals back there, no? Yeah. We might have to make our way back there a little bit later. I know it's super scary because there are like bears, giant black bears, and they will take us out in one swoosh. Swoosh? <laughs> swoosh. <laughs> one swoosh. One it's swoosh. the scientific term for it. A swoosh. One <laughs> swoosh. I've got this object here, this device. I'm going to move this chair. Because right now we can't physically see you. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is set it here. And what I want you to do is walk in front of it. It'll start to play music and light up. That'll let us know where you are. So if you can, 
at any point in time, show us that you're here, please. If you're able to manifest enough and gather energy out of our devices all around this house, maybe you can even show yourself. But for now, we just want to know if we are in contact with somebody. Maybe you have a different story. That's the door again. Whoa. Should we stick that camera out there real quick? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is gonna go off for a little while. Did you guys hear that? What the f was that? Oh, dude, that freaked me out a little bit. That actually did. Dude, the hair is on my arm. What the f That what? scared the f out of me. That was loud. Oh! Yes! Yes, yes, yes! Damn, that hurt. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, that's sharp. Okay, set the camera out there. Can you do it again now? We hear you. There we go. That was a hard touch, dude. Yeah. The camera can see nobody's out there. The only way to make that thing go off is to touch that door handle. Come inside, please. I've got this device here that you can use your words, whether it's just one word or a whole sentence. What we are going to do is set two on this table, and we would like you to speak to us and let us know who you are, how you got here, or if you've been here. Now these two devices here on this table, if you want to talk to us, speak loud and clear into these. They should give you the ability to tell us information. Who are you? How did you get here? Be fearful. Whoa. Whoa! That's not the best start now, is it? No. Be fearful of what? Who do we need to fear? What do we need to fear? Please tell us. Remember, there's rumors that there were kids here. Lots of lost kids. There'd be signs all around town of kids who were missing. And stories started to say that this guy who would perform the rituals, one, he would either sacrifice during the rituals, or two, this guy could have been a serial killer. There's three of us. Whoa! What? He was just talking about kids. Are you a child? Are there three kids? Or are there three entities? Evil spirits? Or just spirits? I, what, what could it be? I don't know. They performed rituals, man. I have no regrets. What the f Oh my god, after you just said that people have speculated. They, they performed, yeah, dude, they performed rituals and yeah, speculated that. Missing kids. He missing could, kids. Yeah, he could have been could've a been serial take, killer. Dude. What the f That's what's, weird. What's your name? What do you mean there are three of us? What's in your hand? What the f That just gave me the f chills. They're what's cameras. Oh, he's asking you. Your cameras, they're supposed to help us see you. Who are you? Can you give us that kind of information? We're just looking to find out if these stories are true. The man that was on the porch, do you know who that is? The man who had lived here. That was two knocks. You hear that? There's a porch back there. Oh, yeah, there is. Why are you still here? Whoa. That sounded like a footstep. One footstep. We are watching you. Whoa. Oh, oh. No. Where are you watching from? If you don't mind me asking, we've got devices all throughout this house. If you see a light in one of the rooms, or even in here, all you need to do is go and touch it. That'll let us know where you are. What if they're watching from the porch? Oh, f dude. Yeah. I can't see out either. That was her. What? That f knock. That what we just heard. So there's a woman here, maybe. 
or a girl? Are you inside this cabin with us, in this building, or are you outside? How do you show us that you're here with the devices? Like I said, all you need to do is touch them. They detect your energy. So if you can please trust us. Is there a dark energy here who came from a ritual that was performed out in the backyard? Did you make this place your home? I wouldn't even consider that a backyard. That's literally just woods. Not everybody can have a nice fence in the river. Jesus. We can see you all. What the f***? The f Watching from the outside. How many people are in here? Just counting us. None of you. How many people are there? You were asking for the dark energy too. And then talking about the rituals out mm -hmm. back. And yep. it said lies. I wonder if way more happened during the rituals than we know. Oh, probably. Like, what if there are numerous bodies that have just maybe never been found? They're just out there. It's miles and miles of woods back there. Mm -hmm. All around us. That's the perfect spot to hide a body. We are delighted you're here. What the f***? No, that's scary, dude. Whoa. Whoa! What if it's the people that are doing rich? Dude, I was just gonna say that. They're like, oh f***. Dude. What if these aren't the children at all? What if those stories are wrong? That's why it said lies. Because there aren't children. Whoa. There's three of us. That's Three naughty. of us who performed these f rituals. Three of us who were the ones who f***ing summoned whatever took over that man's body and killed him. That is insane. That is crazy, dude. We are delighted you're here. Where are you? Where are you guys? You heard the stepping right before that? Mm hmm Can you come in? What if they are out there and the evil entity is in here? Oh, God, I'm getting like freaked out. A little bit, yeah. I'm becoming very uncomfortable. So is there an evil entity then? Who was the man with the black eyes? What the f was that? Was in there. We're looking for him. Where are you? Ooh, that was in here. I have these sensitive devices here as well. I'm gonna go ahead and lay them all around. That's another way that will help us see you. All you need to do is tap one of these and it'll start to light up. So please, show us where you are. Now that I set just about all of our sensitive devices down, I'd like to introduce the three of us so that we can be proper and you will know our names. My name is Ryan. My name is Wyatt. And my name is River. Feel free, talk to us, let us know what's going on. We just want to make sure that you're here. We also want to know why you're here. And feel free to say one of our names if you're here and you do understand us. River. Whoa! No! Whoa, dude! Whoa. Dude, I'm getting sacrificed tonight. <laughs> yeah, you can have hands. You just need to show yourself first. What we're gonna do is sit here at this table and give you some time to gain the energy to make these devices start to light up. You know what it does by now. We're just gonna go ahead and sit down. We are giving you all of our energy right now. I've missed talking. I've missed talking? That's weird. I doubt very many people have come here. Yeah, a lot of people are too scared to come in here. I mean, I don't blame them. They saw some dude sitting on the front porch. His eyes were gone. Like, I wouldn't come to... What the f*** was that? Did you hear me? Oh Whoa! my god! No way, dude! Literally right before that, cam that camera will see me. I flinched. I thought I heard it again. I wonder if they can pass through, like come inside and without... I've always wondered that. Us having to let them in or something. Are spirits able to just pass through a closed door? Mm -hmm. Or, when I f went out there, Oh, Did they f come in? As soon as I opened that door, somebody had whistled. Are you in here with us right now? 
the man with the black eyes. Somebody was warning us. Who was that? Little girl around you. Whoa! What the f we were just talking about whether it was a woman or a little girl. And we were saying that what if it was three people who performed the rituals and not the kids? So that f***ing explains it right there. And the device told us that she did that or whatever. Yeah. A little while ago. Did you get taken by the man who lived here? Would it be a bad idea if we went to the backyard? Buried. Whoa! Oh, whoa! Whoa! <laughs> They could have buried so many things out there. They also just said that right after I said, would it be a bad idea if we went to the backyard? This is weird. Usually those small town stories of weird, creepy that we find or people tell us, like seem a little like blown out of proportion or something like that. You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah. This one's pretty on point. It is so far. What? Just saw a light out there. A light? Mm -hmm. Right outside the window. Dead serious. Should I turn off the... Shouldn't be anybody lurking around our you hear that? Yeah. Turn these off. Someone's out there. Yeah, just I see it. There's several lights. Yeah, so Blue eyes. Blue oh. eyes! River! No f river. Wait. It's River's night, bro. You only have to experiment with River a little bit. Dude, please. Get naked. Please don't let me do anything like that. That's weird, man. Yours. Your night. Your Dude. night? Are you talking about River right here? Is that who you see? Is that who you want to talk to? Oh. Yeah. What the f is going on, guys? I'm starting to get like really nervous. Who's in that room? Oh my did you just hear that? I lost my life here. Whoa. Oh no. Is this still the little girl talking to us? I don't think so, dude. Or is this the man? Do not be afraid of us, please. Where are you? Dark entity here. Whoa! Wait! No! Inside. No! No, dude. Dark entity here inside, dude. This we is just not good. Asked that. We literally were just talking about whether he is inside Prove or not. Prove it. Touch that door handle. Walk up to that door right now and hold on to that handle. You haven't done it in a while. <gasps> oh my god. You are joking, dude. This is starting to really, really freak me out, dude. What are the odds that it would say that? That's two devices. They finished their sentence through two devices and told us. So there you go. That story's correct. Are you still with that man? The one that you took over his body? Or did you guys separate when you killed him? There's somebody I'm out front. I'm not tripping, dude. There's gotta be somebody out front. Is there really a child here? You know what? We deal with this a lot. Evil entities can f with you, dude. They will. When they have the chance, they will. Before we can get out any information from whoever is here, we start talking about the stories in here. Some dark entity could hear us talking about that, and they could just start f with us. I don't know, but I'm just saying. Making us believe that there's something there isn't. Okay. There could be children here, there could be. But it's just a little bit harder to believe in that sense. Right. It's hard to trust and believe anybody here. So if you don't mean any harm, and you do understand what we're saying, you may have to try and talk to us a bit more, and give us more information. But the dark entity, we are trying to get information from you. We already know of your existence. You told us. The forest. The forest! No Good way. I was I said, where did you come from? So you came from a ritual in the forest, right behind this home. Is that true? And then you decided, since somebody had summoned you, you took their body. 
He was found dead months later in this home. Did you guys just hear the creaking? I just heard creaking. Do you think it could be like one of the boards? On the porch? On one of the porches? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. We are moving around. No way! I was wrong. Yeah, they're watching us. They're moving around. The creaking. And they said we're. So the three of us. What if there were three f demons? Oh, that's f***ed up. And one claimed river already. Oh no. That's starting to make a little bit more sense here. I used to live here. Whoa! No! The guy! The guy! Scratch. Oh! Whoa! What was that noise before that? The tink. Yeah, tink? kind of like metal. What is metal around Dude, here? if I get scratched... I don't want to get scratched. Dude, this is, this is hard to do. Yes, think. I did. Just before that, we were talking about how one, somebody claimed River. Oh, sh Wyatt, you son of a dude. Sorry, but that's what we were talking Steven. about. Steven, the man, the man who lived here, Steven. Oh. Dude, my heart literally just I used just to live sank. here. Steven, I think his name is Steven. I was hoping it was like a girl demon, you know? <sighs> Steven, are you here? You were the man who got possessed. You were the one who used to perform the rituals out back. Whoa! No way. I set that on the ground. I moved the chair because I wanted to make my way in there. I wanted the chair out of the way. Is that you right there? What the f***, dude? They're standing right in front of it. Move away. Move away, please. No. Did you guys see that? I did. My God, this it's, is getting It's getting a little hectic in here now. Yeah. What the is there somebody in this room right here? Make yourself known. Do you hear that? Yeah. Guys, dude, this is terrifying. Who's in here? Lucifer? Whoa. Is that what you say you are? Did somebody summon you? Who's claiming River? Not friendly. <laughs> not friendly? Who claimed River not friendly? Oh my f I thought it was not locked. Is that the f***ing dude? Get out! What was that? That was the cupboard right there. Found a sucker punch a demon right now. Creepy. Yeah, dude! Bro! That was definitely that though. Touch that door handle. If you use your energy, show that you can walk. Can you feel me? Whoa! Oh, dude. What? First of all, why the f does that only happen when you ask? Second of all, before you guys heard that noise, I literally was gonna ask you to come back out there because I felt like someone was like on me. Why are you still here? We're talking to the evil energy, the spirit, whatever you are. Tell people my story. What the f The, dude. the man. Steven, what do you want us to tell? Is there something in specific? Dude, the fact that they only touch that door handle when you ask is really f creeping me out. Dangerous. Whoa! Did he? What did he say? Let people tell, know. Tell people what? my story. Tell people my story. He's dangerous. Dark energy. Oh my god, dude! This story's f true. 
Whoa. Steven, if you are here, if you hear- I'm a good person. I'm a good person. <gasps> what the no f way, dude. You just made mistakes, right? We understand. Did you just hear that? Uh-uh. You didn't hear the sliding? No. Wait, that wasn't you? Were you sliding anything? No, I just- Dude, where to go? Dude, that was a chair. Hands. Bro, one of these chairs, something moved. Steven, that was as clear as it gets. If you're saying you were a good person, why are people telling stories that there were children that you could have possibly killed and or your group, the cult that you were in, had sacrificed them? Are those stories not true? Wait, if you think about it though, if he was possessed, he wasn't Steven anymore. Dude, what? somebody's right there. Somebody's right there. You're right. I told you, somebody is right there. When I sat down right here, I felt like they just sat in that chair as well. Why are were they saying that, Steven? And where is the evil entity now? Dude, that just gave me chills. What? To my core. After you ask, where is the evil entity now? It sounded outside. I swear to God, I heard. No. F way. The whistling that happened to me. Do like you think, think that was the evil entity? It was like a melody, though. Stephen told us that they're in here. He's telling us to let people know his story about the f***ing evil entity. So far we've got Steven, the evil entity is here. They told us that, and they also told us there's a little girl around. There. Yeah, where did that come into play? Where yeah. does that come into play? So that's three, though. Maybe they were all sacrificed. Children want to speak. Whoa! Dude, what the f***? Guys, whoa! Dude, maybe those decades ago, like the where the kids are coming into play that we're trying to figure out, whether Steven was a part of the group or not, that f must have just went on around here. Yeah. The forest, they said, the rituals, just like the story that they told us. That mother f dude, there is somebody on the porch. Dorothy, we are delighted you're here. Dorothy, we're delighted you're here. Whoa, children here, the girl. We finally got a name, Dorothy. What would you like to say? What is it that you want to talk about? We can see you all. No Again, way, dude. dude. Yeah. Guys, I know that there's stories saying that Steven, or the man who lived here, whether it's Steven or not, what if the story got twisted to where he had gotten brought out to do this ritual, but they had sacrificed his body to become a vessel? I was just gonna say, remember they didn't always kill everybody. No. They might have just fed him to him. Or maybe they sacrificed the little kids just to be able to put this demon in Steven. That's gnarly. The 60s, 70s, that's full satanic panic. People doing that kind of is like commonplace. Yeah. They just do it just us. Whoever is in here right now, if you can hear me, I want to try a little experiment. What we are going to do is turn the lights out, and we're going to sit here in the dark. Did you just hear the door? Yes, over here. Whoa! Did you just hear the door knob? I swear to God, I just heard the door knob. Why didn't the device go off? You guys think we should go lights out? Yeah. Okay. We're gonna try this little experiment. I kinda wanna try this where one of us, like I'll go in that room, somebody goes in that room, and somebody sits out here. Okay. Just to see who gets the most out of it. So, let's go lights out. To the spirits here in this home, Steven, the evil entity, and that young girl, whoever else is here, we are here in the dark. Amy, Edward. What the f Amy and Edward, two other names. Could that be another, some of the kids? Maybe. Are you the children, the three Sorry, children man. that have been watching us? I got a name too. No f way. Yeah, Oliver. Whoever is in here, we are split up in separate areas of the house. If you can, please choose who you'd like to speak to. We have our devices, they can channel your I energy. What? What? Said I didn't believe this. What the f Choose who you'd like to be with. I lied to you. I lied to you! 
Oh, sh Wait. You said something about the little kids. Or they were talking about the little kids. Maybe there are none. Oh! What was that, Rai? Did you do that? That was the little ball. I, I was rearranging myself. I want to pick it up real quick. Because. I lied to you because. Because what? Do you think this is Steven? I don't know. How he said he was innocent? Dude. To the entity that chose River, we're all in different rooms now, like Ryan explained. Are you with him? Can you show him that you're there? Or don't. I'm innocent. Oh my god! I was just talking about Steven! That's two different ones. Hear the footsteps. Whoa! No. Dude. Huh? There's footsteps. It's pitch black in here, guys. I just want to show you what it looks like. <laughs> Dude, it is so dark in here. Wait, shh. Do you f***ing hear that? Yeah. Whoa, hold on. There's someone outside. Oh my god! Dude, please. Guys. Guys? Yeah? I swear on everything, there's someone outside of the door. The front door. Are you in this room with me? Or are you outside? Please let me know. For some reason, you took a liking to me. Don't know why. I'm not that cool. What the f is that? Hold on. Dude, what? I just saw a shadow with my own eyes. What? Really? In the room, literally right next to the fireplace. There's nothing on camera. I saw someone's shadow, literally. I thought it was mine. Mine's over to the right of the door. Who's in there with River right now? Make yourself known. Resemble. What if I resemble something, someone? That's why they picked you. Is that a reason why? Why the f did I choose this room? This is insane. What the f Guys? What? I just heard creaking. That creaking that we heard earlier? Outside or inside? Inside. Dude, dude. Are you walking around, Riv? Yeah, he's standing. Oh. Yeah, listen, if my back is turned to the door, it's a little scary. <laughs> Go sit the f down. I don't want to. <laughs> Dude, if I die tonight, I swear to God. Well, I mean, you won't really hear anything from me. I ain't haunting you. I wouldn't give you that satisfaction. <laughs> <laughs> Who's in there with River? Is it the dark energy, the demon? Where are you? Uh, guys. Yeah. My device froze. Froze? And it did not say it, but it says, I've been watching you. And it froze? Yeah, completely froze, dude. This is weird. Dude, you were talking to the dark one. It says, I've been watching you. Footsteps. What the Dude, why is it that my device is talking about footsteps? I just reset my device, but it was completely frozen. Is that evil energy in there with Ryan then? Should I try to do an EVP? Whoa. What? What? Mine said they will harm you. What? Who said the experiment? Mine. That's it? Mm-hmm. Okay, do you guys not remember me saying I want to shut the lights out and do this experiment? Oh, yeah. Fuck, dude. Is it not a good idea to be by ourselves right now? Is that what you're trying to say? Blink. What was that? Oof. What? My cat ball. Your cat ball? I heard a loud knock out there. Was that you, Riv? No. Did you just touch that ball on that? On the dresser? You do it again? Energy listening to you. Energy listening to you. Yeah. I don't like this, man. Says, energy, I'm listening to you. 
They just touched the cat ball too, so they have enough energy. Do it again, please. There's a bunch of those all over the place too. You know, you don't have to touch mine. I'm like, there's more. <laughs> I have one in my room too. I have two in here, so, I mean. Mine went off! Mine no just way. I, no way. Dude, I pointed to it when I, guys. I'm, guys, yeah. what was that? Did you hear the two knocks? Yeah. yeah. I'm scared. Guys. Whoa. Guys. What the f going on? What is that? Please. I'm scared. They came in here. You guys heard the knocking? Three times. You want to know what that is? is that that the was cover? the end of my bed. No. That way. was the end. That was the frame. And my ball went off twice. And now it's not doing She's anything. She's dangerous. She's dangerous. He's dangerous. What the f Whoa! She's dangerous and he's dangerous and my ball just went off again! And then mine just said, let me rest. Dude, I feel so unsafe. I feel so f unsafe. Who is here? Oh f Where is that? In the doorway? Whoa. I just caught that on camera, guys. My ball. More tapping. Tapping to the right of me. My ball! My ball! Dude! No, no way! Way! Oh! I'm playing games! What the f Who is this? Are you messing with us? This is insane. Dude! And my ball is going off. We have not had the cat balls go off this crazy like in a very, very long time. Especially now we're split up in separate rooms right now. And each of our cat devices. Prepare. Prepare. Dude, no. Had set off. I'm so f scared. Why are all of you here? More importantly, what are we preparing for? Skeletons. Dude, imagine skeletons just around the f house why you gotta say shit? yeah why the f do you have to say <laughs> like that i like horror movies ryan's ball again whoa riv yeah where are you right here dude no no lie someone just passed my door you're a liar i'm not even joking dude. it was a skeleton oh that's i'm scared now that's scary i thought you just walked into ryan's room no why do I have the big room? And I can't see any- Surprise. Surprise. Prepare for the surprise of the skeletons. Why do you have to say like that? Because it would be scary. Where's the evil energy? Are they in here with us? Whoa, mine froze. What the f Hey, Rev. Oh! My ball! <laughs> Hey, Riv. Oh, my ball. <laughs> Brother. Brother! Oh. My ball. My ball just went off. My ball. No. Show. Whoa! Show. Whoa! Are you good? No, I'm not good. What do you mean? <laughs> Dude. This is Weird, dude. They chose me and started saying weird and now my back's turned to the front door where there's skeletons that could be potentially surrounding the house. <laughs> no, I'm not good. Can you knock on that? Oh my dude. The ball just went off again. Can you knock on that front door? Got kind of quiet, boys. Where'd you go? My bones. Skeletons. Oh my god, did you just hear that? No, no. What? That was on right in front of... What was that? I didn't move. Ryan? I didn't move. I'm sitting here. Oh! My ball! Dude, what the f What did you hear? The first one was a really loud slam in front of the house, right in the front door. And then as I was telling you about it, there was a really loud noise somewhere else. 
Listen, spirit, whoever you are, I ain't normally like this. I'm guilty. Well, that's reassuring. When you say my name like that and you say blue eyes, it makes me a little scared. I'm gonna sit back down. Graveyard, blonde hair. Are you what the f Dude, are you kidding me? I don't want to sit down. What the f I was literally just talking about myself. I know. They want you, bro. I hope people know that I'm terrified. Why do you want River? What did I do? <laughs> Is the evil energy still here? It's me. Whoa! No. Do we know what this dude looked like? Steven? Yes. They have a really good description. He didn't happen to have blue eyes and blonde hair. No. Hit. What the f is that noise, guys? Is there something you want to let us know? Concerned. Concerned? About what? I'm starting to get side pains. It could just be because I'm stressing myself out. What the f I have no idea what the f that was. That sounded like somebody was trying to open the f door. Are you trying to open the door? Guys? What was that? Did somebody move something? No, no. Something just slid. Yes, I heard it. Guys, I think that was in here. You had me on camera. I was not moving anything. Are you in this room with me? And what are your intentions? Guys? Yeah. Did you just hear that? Tell. Yeah. Kind of, not really. I'm like frozen. Every single shadow in here looks like it could potentially be something. By any chance, can you touch that device that's hooked up to that door? If you touch that doorknob, it will go off. There's three of us. Whoa! Again! Meeting. Says meeting! Mine just said meeting! What the f is going on? Meeting? For a ritual, maybe? Whoa! I'm starting to feel nauseous, bro. Ooh, my ball. I heard knocking on the ceiling right above it before that went off. No way. What? Don't say that. Are you in... Are you in Wyatt's room? On the ceiling? Steven, the dark energy, are you here? Let's be friends. Whoa! Whoa! My device just said let's be friends right before that went off. Why? Huh? You think they're in your room or are they right here? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. As long as it's not on the ceiling, like, they can go wherever the f they want. What if they were under the bed? Dude, I hate you. <laughs> Why? Asking, you said anywhere. I'm gonna sit down again. <laughs> Honestly, don't want to. I will talk to you. Whoa. Okay, I'm gonna sit down. Hopefully this device doesn't go off behind me. That's like asking for it to go off. Hold on guys, I'm gonna do something kind of up. Ready? Mm-hmm, no. That evil entity, the dark energy that they were telling us about. You're in here, and we're all separated. Earlier you said scratch. Who were you talking about? Are you guys moving? I can scare you. No. I'm not No, moving. we're not moving. We want to talk to you. We want to know what's going on here. If you're going to scratch anybody, now's probably the best time. Mm-hmm. No. Ryan. Whoa! Was that your device? That said my name! Your device? My device said my name! Oh, my ball! Guys? Holy what? That's what did you do? Crazy. I did bad things. Oh, Steven! No, 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 that's right behind me. Oh, you're just going all around, aren't you? I'm starting to feel super f Same. 
Like I feel horrible, man. You know, there's three entities. Are we friends? Oh, oh my God! A little bit ago it said, "Let's be friends." Yeah. Now it just said, "Are we friends?" Whoa! And I'm trying to talk to <gasps> it. My blood. Sacrifices. Okay. I was just gonna say. They said that there's three entities, three people here, and there's also three of us. We're in three different rooms. Dude, why it got she, I got he. And I got skeleton bone people. <laughs> My device just froze again. Do we have to be friends for you to tell us what's going on? Why it doesn't have really any friends, so he probably yeah, liked that. That is true. I'll bite. I'll be your friend. Don't bite him. Yeah, please don't do that. No, you. That's not how you make friends. Yeah, dummy. You guys want to meet back up and do a couple of EVPs? Please. Let's do some EVPs. Okay, so right now we are going to where supposedly the rituals had taken place. They said right behind this house. Also, we need to be very careful because there are bears, especially during this time of the season. The problem is we like to put our lives at risk just to try and get good evidence. So that's our issue. So yes, we are out here right in this general area. There could potentially be, with the information that we did gather, bodies buried back here and for sure, the rituals did take place over here. I don't know if it took place here or right there. We're gonna do a couple of VVPs and see if we could find anything out. So, let's go. To any spirits that can hear me, are we in the right spot where the rituals had taken place? Did that evil entity follow us out here? Our device said bones earlier and skeleton. Does that mean your bones or your remains are out here buried somewhere? You guys heard that? Let's listen to this. Do any spirits that can hear me? Are we in the right spot where the ritual had taken place? Did that evil entity? Follow us out here. Our device said Whoa. bones earlier. Skeleton. Does that mean your bones or your remains are out here buried somewhere? What the f That was a yes. That said yes. <laughs> Sorry, that was a bug. <laughs> <laughs> It's just a bug that tried to go in my mouth. Let's listen to this again. <laughs> Did your camera die? No, it flopped closed because no. I laughed and hurt my goddamn back. Oh no. Quit <laughs> making me laugh. It's fine. Okay. Do any spirits that can hear me? Are we in the right spot where the rituals had taken place? That evil entity follow us out here. Our device said bones earlier. Skeleton. Does that mean your bones or your remains are out here buried somewhere? That says yes. That's pretty clear. Well, let's do one more and focus on Steven. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's amazing. <clears throat> See if we can also get information about the little girl and Obviously, like we just asked about the evil entity. I think we also, after your question, I'm There's pretty there. sure we got something there, yeah. Okay. It did sound like someone was like talking into yeah. it. It's like a sentence. Okay, we're gonna try this one more time here. What? Oh my god, dude. What? You know how like, when somebody's about to like come up behind what? you and scare you? Something on my neck. No. Did someone just touch you? Dude, I was just gonna say that. You know, somebody comes up from behind you and like, is gonna scare you. I like turned and I saw the side of somebody. Like skin. That's scary. I could just be tripping. We might be in the right spot for sure. Can I tell you something also? When we shut off the cameras to come out here, when I told you guys my device froze again, the device said graveyard. Oh, 
That was giving us more information about back here, probably. It did also say <clears throat> buried. You didn't just hear that voice? I did. It sounded like a woman. Oh my god. That just gave me the chills. Let's do another EVP. I don't want to risk all of us being out here too long because what if we do come into like some danger? Yeah. That's f That's true. I'm going to try this one more time with you. If you can hear us, we are trying to get in contact with Steven and the little girl. Speak loud and clear into this device here in my hand, please. Steven, when you were possessed and you had passed away, did the evil entity part from your body, from your soul? Who is that little girl that they keep telling us about? And why are you here? Did the same thing happen to you that happened to Steven? If you know any of the information about the rituals that would take place out here, how many people were involved every time? What the f just said, take me. And why are you here? The same thing happened to you that happened to Steven? What the f? If you know any of the information about the rituals that would take place out here, how many people were involved every time? Okay, play that slower. Sounds like they are saying, take him, something, blah, blah, blah. Something. Mm -hmm. Like, oh my god. Like they were putting him in the center and they're saying to this demon, take his vessel, take him. What the f***? Dude, that's f nuts. What about the growl? It sounded like it was not just growling, it sounded like somebody was struggling. And why are you here? The same thing happened to you that happened to Steven? <laughs> Like, imagine dragging somebody or, like, fighting somebody in this. Like, or it could be a growl, could be something weird, it could be... A... I'm thinking that's more of, like, a demon yeah. trying to talk or, yeah. you know, something demonic. Because it sounds little... demonic. The demon. It's it thing, though, she's like... dangerous. Yeah. And it also said he's dangerous. I can't believe yeah. it said river, blue eyes, and blonde hair. That man. Well, I can't believe when me and Wyatt were in the separate rooms, it literally said she's dangerous, and then right after, he's, he's dangerous. dangerous. Mm -hmm. So what do we want to do? I think what I want to do is go back in the cabin. If there is any spirits there, we could be being fooled, but also we should invite them to leave as well, because just, sometimes... Just in case if there yeah. is like a spirit that's like, definitely. I don't want to be here. Like, Cool. That's the plan. Let's go finish this properly. I just wanted to let any of the spirits here know, the ones who do not mean any harm, that unfortunately it is time for us to leave. We came here and spent hours with you, and I wanted to say thank you for the information that you gave us. We're really sorry what happened to the innocent ones. I want to give you this option here, and I want to make this loud and clear. Nobody, none of you spirits, nor dark energies, none of you have any permission to follow us home. But what I am going to do is if you are trapped here, I'm gonna give you the option to leave. I'm gonna open this front door. What you are going to see is a bright white light. You are going to go to it and move on. It is time to go. So please leave if you need to. Wyatt? Wyatt? Are you walking? Oh, oh my god, I thought you went in there. Did you hear that? Yes. You hear me? We're all protected. 
I'm going to open this door. Before we leave, we just wanted to give you this option. We can't just leave knowing that maybe somebody is stuck here. So if you can, go through that door. Whoa, that was a loud bang. That was right in that room. <gasps> no <f> way. <gasps> My God. Thank you. Okay, guys, we gotta hit the road. We got a four hour drive back home. Hope you guys did enjoy this episode. Please, if you did, help us get this video to 40,000 likes. You guys are killing it. By the way, the Hill House episode had hit 50,000 likes. So that means I'm and I gotta go back with the boys. Also, it's almost at a million views. We have not gotten a million views yet. And obviously being a video creator, content creator, you want a video to hit a million views. I mean, the excitement. Yeah. Tell your really friends, good. please. That, it is so crazy. It's gonna be our first video to hit a million and it's just, that is one of the biggest accomplishments and thank you, all of you. If you guys are new here and you keep finding yourselves coming back, please hit that subscribe button. You guys are gonna enjoy what we do. We're gonna continue to go and knock out these crazy locations, including this one. So, we will see you next week. Peace.